Let's practice Moss Excel 2013, the 1.4a challenge. Let's hide a column. Let's hide this inventory ID column. How do we do that? We right click column A, and then we go to hide. We can hide and unhide columns. I'm gonna hide this. You can see that we hit it. Now try to hide the row containing the data source notes. So we're going to try to hide row 2, actually row 3. So how do we hide row 3? You go to row 3 here with your mouse cursor. I'm going to right click row 3, go to hide, click. Now let's try unhiding this row. Notice how the rows go 1, 2, 4. There's a little hidden row here. How do we unhide it? You click with your left mouse button, drag, so that row two and four are both highlighted. And now right click and unhide. That's how we get our hidden row back. Now I'm gonna to try to add the calculator button, which is not available on any ribbon tab, to the quick access toolbar. So let's add a calculator button here. This here is my quick access toolbar. These buttons here are very readily available. So I'm gonna hover my mouse right over these buttons here, like such as save or undo. I'm gonna right click it and go to the second option, which is customize quick access toolbar. So click, and you can see that we have this quick access toolbar and we have a bunch of commands and we can customize it by adding different commands. Now the one we want to add is called a calculator. So I'm going to go to this choose commands from drop down box. And I'm going to choose all commands. So there's a bunch of commands here. If I scroll down, we can scroll to the letter C or you can even click inside once and type the letter C. And then if I go page down here by clicking here, I can find calculator pretty quickly. There it is. Let's click on Add. So there you go, I have a nice calculator button. And our challenge is to make it the leftmost button. This here is on the bottom of the list, which means it's going to be on the right. So to move it all the way to the left of the Save button, I'm going to hit this up arrow. So up means I'm moving it left to give it more priority. So now the calculator button, because I hit that up arrow button, move up, button a couple of times is the leftmost button. And now let's add a visual separator as well. So not only do we want the button to be here, I also want to visually separate it. So what we're going to do here is when I scroll up, there's this thing called a separator. So I'm going to add a separator and you can see that the calculator should be separated from the save button. So let's now see the fruit of our labor by clicking on OK. And ta-da, there you have it. There's our custom calculator button in this top left corner. And there's even a nice separator button that visually is pleasing because it's separated as a, as a clean section. All right, now let's try again. Let's right click, customize the quick access toolbar. And notice how there's a little drop down box here that this can apply for all documents, which is a default, or we can even make a special quick access toolbar only for this particular file, which is called Excel 1.4. So you are allowed to have a custom quick access toolbar just for this file. So let's try practicing a bit more here. Let's create some buttons for inserting pictures, charts, and tables. So if I go to the Insert tab, choose commands from insert tab I can find some nice uh, buttons here so I find this uh, button called charts I'm gonna add this scroll down and I'm gonna insert a nice picture so here's the pictures button. And finally, let's add some 
a nice table. There's my table button. So I'm going to click OK. And there you have it. I have a bunch of new buttons up here. And it's very, very easy to access. It's definitely quick. Now, how do we make this? these buttons appear below the ribbon? So we have a nice ribbon here. So how do we make it go below? Let's right click, customize the quick access toolbar, and just click on this little checkbox, show quick access toolbar below the ribbon. So when you click OK, ta-da, this top area is called the ribbon. Now you can see the quick access toolbar is below the ribbon. So now let's finish off the challenge by right clicking and customizing quick access toolbar. We can always make it go back above by deselecting this. And we can also reset all customizations or the quick access toolbar. So in this case, I'm gonna reset the quick access toolbar. Are you sure? Yes. And then click OK. Now I still see these charts here, so to reset everything back to the way it was, I'm going to reset all customizations, and then I'm going to delete my custom quick access toolbar customizations in this program. Yes. Click OK. And the key is when you reset these customizations, make sure you know where you're working with in terms of working with all documents, which I did reset. But uh, for this particular document, my customization still exists because I didn't actually change this customized quick access toolbar drop down box to the particular file. So this is here is the Excel 1.4 file. You can see these still exist. So when I reset the quick access toolbar, and now it's back to the way it was before. Click OK, and there it is, all clean as a whistle.